Hey, right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Kingman, Arizona. I'm here. I've been sent here on a, a rescue mission. One of our fellow drivers picked up uh, the load out of uh, Cactus, Texas. I think it's a load of beef. And her truck decided to take a dump on her. So she's broke down here at the uh, petrol. So, me being a nice guy, I took it upon myself. I I told them, well, why not? I'll, I'll go ahead and come up here and repowder load, rescue. Uh, the time now is 6.30 or 6.42 or whatever. Um, as you can see, it is freaking packed here. So it's like going to be a needle in the haystack for me to find her. So, uh, and once I uh, hook up to her, um, to the load that she has, that load goes to uh, Modesto, California, which is in the Central Valley. If I had the hours, I would have ran it. Um, but, um, oh, yeah, because I also have to go to um, have an appointment on. Um, Friday, so it's been Tuesday right now, and I'm not taking any chances because that load uh, goes to Modesto, and I'll be running on recap hours. Um, yeah, so uh, and I don't want to take a chance on uh, risking um, waiting to gain hours at midnight each day. Um, So that's why I'm, uh, I'm gonna bring it back to uh, to the yard in uh, in Phoenix. Um, now it's uh, the game of cat and mouse right now. We're gonna try to find her, identify her. Um, yeah, I don't know what the damage is on her truck. So uh, they just told me she's a sitting duck. So. Yeah, once again, we're in Kingman, Arizona at the uh, Petro. This, technically, this is the outskirts of Kingman because a few miles up, a ro up the road there, like three or four miles, is the actual city of Kingman itself. Um, so, I have no, no idea where she's at, so I'm going to take a shortcut and go between these trucks here and uh, see if we can locate her. They did tell me uh, Kingman. They gave me the specifics of where she's at. So she's here somewhere. There's plenty of parking too. So, And I, what I was told, she has to get towed out. Uh, I guess they're going to have a tow truck to come pick her up. But she might be up there at the uh, service area. Um, so we're going to take a cruise on up the hill there. And, which is uh, like right in front of us where the sun is blinding the hell out of me. Um, so she might be up there. I'll just take a drive up there. Um, get on your side and roll. But, but uh, yeah. Um, as you guys can see, I have plenty of hours. I got four hours and 41 minutes. I can make it back to Phoenix. But I've been up all day since early morning. I was running locals, helping out. Uh, Till the rest of the week, I'm going to just stay close to the yard. Um, just, you know, so I can, uh, I don't know, how do you get up, okay, up that way? So, let's go take a ride up there and see if she's up there. Uh, they did send me her number, so if she's not up here, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to give her a call. Um, oh, shoot. I... Okay, man, this road is like riding on the damn moon. So, god damn, I can't see nothing, man. Well, I actually, I can. Thank God for uh, sunglasses. Normally, I have Lokes, but I left those in uh, a long time ago in my other truck uh, before they uh, swapped that truck out, got rid of it, and I uh, got this one brand new. I put all the miles on it. So, uh, it's due for um, the B service pretty soon. But, um, 
So I got like 5,000 more miles before I get it serviced. So that I'm not tripping on. So we're up here now. Just got to look for one of our trucks. Um, oh, hell. I don't know if she's in here or not. I don't see her. Oh, I got no choice but to proceed. See if she's here. If she's not. Obviously, I got to go back down down the hill and do a, a thorough search. And I don't. I pray to God they didn't tow her up out of here already without giving me a heads up, because I bobtailed all the way here. And I think that's what the motherfuckers did, man. All right, time to flip it. But so Yui, uh, she's got to be down there somewhere. All right, I feel dumb, man. All right, Ugh. It's very scenic up here too. Uh, for those of you that uh, that haven't been to Arizona, Kingman, Arizona is very scenic. It's a tourist type town. Uh, there's a lot of uh, his history. Uh, I think the uh, US 66 runs through there. Um, but I don't see her, man. Maybe she's on the other side of the road over there. Uh, when we get back to the to the petrol, I'm gonna do another drive-by. Not gang related, but you know, you guys know what I mean. Drive by and see if I can spot her. Um, yeah, so, I know it's been a while since I spoke to you guys like this. I got all you guys' messages too about the last few videos. I made, you know, I'm putting more and more comedy in there, especially with Baby Ami. Because um, <laughs> the, the real live Ami, those would be her exact words. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm glad you guys like that and getting your kicks out of it. Um, but I do not see any night truck over here to be honest with you guys uh, so we're gonna take a ride and <sighs> yo look both ways man you might as well go ahead man go ahead go ahead go ahead you're already out there get out there puto yeah don't wave just go man some bit god damn Oh man, don't tell me they wasted my time coming here. They said the petrol, this is the petrol. Because further down the road is the uh, Loves. And if she's at the Loves, I'm gonna be, I mean, I won't be mad. I just I hate that they give me uh, wrong information. But Michelle's pretty much on the ball when it comes to that. So she's on, she's on her game, you know. That's why I did it. Is, you know, she's cool. You know, we all got each other's back. Uh, other than that, I would have been like, hey, psh, yeah, I'm gonna have to tow truck to tow her and that load all the way back, but nah. Yeah, make it, you know, less work for, uh, for the tow truck driver. Oh, another thing, when you guys are at a truck stop, for those of you that's, you know, driving and you're the, uh, you know, at a truck stop, when you see a truck like that guy has his four ways on, typically, it's because one either he's having some difficulty two he's gonna back up so technically uh, most likely when we have our four-way uh, flashes on that's letting everybody know that we're backing up all right um, let's see Swift 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 Warner uh, I bet she's all the way down at the end tucked away I'm almost certain that she's way down there because uh, we we cruise through that way right so all right this is the last chance of me finding her if she's if she's at the petrol because we're at the ass end of it so like I said she might be tucked away which bingo there she is she's tucked away all right you guys I'm gonna pause this right quick and see what the hell is going on with this lady
stay tuned. Yeah, that's, that's the trailer I'm picking up. She's already dropped it. Um, so, we're going to see what's going on with Monica right quick. I'll be right back, you guys. Yeah, I actually, a guy, it's a guy, but he's a woman. His name is Mark, but it goes by Monica. So, all right. Uh... Want me to stick around? You'll be all right? Yeah. All right, I mean, I got two hours, but I, I might just stick around. I mean, I'll go refuel. I mean, if you need anything, I'll be here. So. All right. All right. I didn't mean that shit. I was just being nice, but what happened? Most likely that some bitch didn't uh, refuel his DEF, DEF, you know, and his truck derated, meaning he can't do nothing, no power. So that's all on him, unless it's a faulty system, which more likely it probably is. It's a, his truck is an international. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that was uh, something. Um, I'll be right back. Yeah, that seal is on it. <sighs> All right, you guys, I'm back. <laughs> um, yeah, I tell you, you can't make none of this shit up out here, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, to each their own, you know what I mean? I got to give it to them, her. Some bitch did smell good. Liz Claiborne or something. Uh, seemed like a pretty nice person. Um, I just hate to see uh, my fellow fellow drivers that are in a bad spot like that this was a good run for him her um, uh, but he still got good miles out of it though I mean he came out of Cactus Texas and um, made it this far to Kingman so um, just hate the fact that he's been sitting all that time you know and yeah like I said once you derate your truck which meaning uh you don't have no D uh, no death in it yeah you pretty much screw the truck up uh, that's why each time when you uh, refuel oh uh, yeah get under there each time you refuel even though your death is uh, still showing full it's always best to top it off a uh, good example it's like me. I'm good on, on fuel. I can get back to Phoenix. But my def, you know, is still full. So when I get to Phoenix, I'm going to go to either the Flying Jet or Love's. Maybe the Pilot. I'm going to go ahead and just top off. All right? And I'm still going to add more fuel to my def system. I mean, it'll still take maybe two or three gallons, you know? So, it's always... Uh, it's always best to uh, keep it top. Oh, y'all see that? Oh, y'all missed it. It was a hawk chasing something. Um, it's always best to uh, make sure that's topped off. Uh, you don't want to derate your truck, especially if you're out in the middle of nowhere. But he left it here. You know, as you guys, uh, well, you guys will see the distance, uh, uh, the terrain that he got through to get here. Because uh, I leave from here, I'm going to head back that way. Um, it's, it's very scenic. You guys will see it because I'll do a, a video slideshow. Alright, I guess I, that means I'm locked in. I don't know why I kept tugging at it. <laughs> um, and on that note, uh, I guess I can take you guys with me to, to uh, hook up and all that stuff. So. Oh! Oh man, oh man. Hang tight guys. Oh. Well. Gotta uh, give this trailer some life support from my truck. 
<laughs> Come on, man. Get the hell out of there. Bastardo! Part of my language. Yeah, and here's the electricity life support. Alright. Okay, let me put one glove on because I'm about i try my best to video this stuff and show you guys. Um, damn, hold on. 25 degrees. Ah, damn, I got oil and stuff on my finger. That's what I get for not wearing. Oh, there's a tow truck coming to get him. So he's all right. I guess I brought him good luck. Damn, I'm left handed too. Damn! Y'all got to hold on right quick. I can't do that with my right hand. Hold up right quick. Oh. All right, I'm back in business. Now I can do it with my left hand. All right. And that's how we're raising the landing gear. Ami got this down packed. Made her get some muscles in her arms. <laughs> you guys see us raising up the Landing gear down there. Rafer is all right with fuel. I'm not gonna top it off. I'll show you guys that I uh, secured the trailer. I already checked the tires and all that stuff. It's good. Everything's good. Um, this place is getting busy over there. And there we go. Rescue came. And the trailer secured. And now. That's amazing how we all come all at once. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, we're good. Ain't hey, gonna be shocked. Y'all hear what he asked me? She's in there. <laughs> He's gonna be. Hey, y'all see the NASCARs? There's like eight of those trucks here. I guess they're going to the, the race going on somewhere. Uh, yeah, so there we have it, folks. And of course, I um, might look for. I might go to the fuel island and uh, clean my windshield because it's all of them butterflies and everything. Uh, let's see how we look. Uh, it's not that bad. Yeah, it ain't that bad. So, we're hooked up. Ready to roll. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, God. Uh. So, I mean, I really feel for him because I know how, what it's like to, to sit and wait to get a rescue. Um, <laughs> yeah, he was, you know, since 2 o'clock. I mean, that's pretty much a dead a done deal so he's gonna get uh, towed back to the uh, he's gonna go to the Phoenix yard that's the closest one and that's the one where they do all that service and stuff uh, Jesus Christ <laughs> he didn't set his uh, his weight right I'm gonna try to show you guys <laughs> oh my god okay I mean, he's still under gross. Um, oops, getting blurry on you guys, right? Shoot. God damn it. I mean, this old ink. All right, let me see. I'm trying to show you guys right now. All right, he got 12,100 pounds on his stairs. That's, uh, he's 100 pounds over on his, uh, on his front axle. Okay, he could have adjusted that because on his drive axles, he's got 32,240 pounds. On the trailer tandem uh, axles, he only has 27,400. Now what I'm gonna do is slide the tandems all the way forward, okay? Um, and uh, it's a pretty light load. It's, the gross weight is only 71,740 pounds, so. And we're hauling uh, 
beef. Where is the beef? No, we're hauling beef, so I'm gonna get it. The, I'm gonna put some air in those. Um, gotta put air into the the trailer ta uh, tandem into the brake brake chambers. That way, I'll be able to um, slide it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's giving that trailer some life. All right, I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right, it's giving it some air. Okay, that's for the tractor. This is, you know what, I'm gonna give it, give it some life support, make it go faster. And then once you hear that, that means the brake chambers back there are good, filled with air. I mean, I can go ahead and um, pull the brakes and then go back there and release the, the tandems and slide them. So should be getting there any minute. It's climbing, it's climbing, it's getting there. It's getting there. See how fast it's moving? Any minute now. Any minute. Alright, should be here any minute. We have 120 PSI. Any minute. If it goes all the way over, I mean, that trailer got an air leak somewhere. Yeah, it's going higher and higher. God damn. Okay, there we go. I'm starting to worry, guys. <laughs> now I can um, go ahead and close the valves. All right, get that trailer some life. Now I am going to, uh, I'll show you guys right now. Yeah, there was a leak somewhere back there, one of them airlines back there, because it's still feeding uh, some air to one of those tires back there. I'll go ahead and make note of that. Um, uh, when I do the pre-trip, I'll put it in the system, that way they'll know. But I'm also gonna write it up, and then when I get to the terminal, probably tomorrow, because I don't feel like running right now, I'll let them know that this trailer has a leak somewhere. All right. But what I just did right now is release the locking mechanism that keeps this steady. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna back up. When I back up, that means I'm sliding these tandems here forward. So I'm gonna go to right here, or well, maybe one hole. All right, I'm gonna move that to right here. You guys will see how easy it's gonna be. Basically what I'm doing, I'm just gonna release the tractor brakes Leave the trailer brakes locked, then I'm gonna back up. That's how we slide them, forward or backwards. You'll see right now. All right. Here we go. Just the tractor only. Go ahead and throw that bastard in reverse. And, all right. There you go. Yep. <sighs> Sorry for all this movement, you guys. I damn near dropped this phone twice while showing you guys all of this stuff. <laughs> um, <sighs> wow, it feels, I mean, it's still warm out here, but it's not hot like it is down in the valley, uh, which is where I'm going back to. So now we're gonna see how the great one did. Obviously, I missed that bastard, but I'm gonna go ahead and lock it. Then what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna go forward. While these are still gonna be locked, I'm gonna go forward, then it's gonna lock itself. You, you guys will hear it in a minute. I might as well just go ahead and do a walk around. Make sure all the lights work. I already, uh, Dang the, the tires of the trailer with my fist. I'll do it again just to show you guys.
Now, if you hear it like boom, 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 that means <laughs> one of them damn tires is low. And he's uh, going to hook him up, tow him. Uh, yeah, it happens out here, guys, you know. There's nothing we can do about it. So, see, both uh, flashes work. Trailer lights are working. So, I might as well do these tires again since you guys are with me and I'm showing you guys. All right. All the, all the tires are good. I mean, they're hard. I mean, the way they're supposed to be. The spare tire is secure with the chain. You can't see it because it's dark, but it's secure. Flashes are working. I'm going to step out a little bit. See that the that the clearance lights up there are working. Sorry you guys are hearing all that wind. It's starting to pick up a windy out here with wind. Out here with windy. Huh? What the hell am I drinking? And as you guys see, well you I know that my baby, all the lights are working, but we're just gonna do it anyways. Oh fuck you. Got a hella close to my truck, all this damn room out here. As you guys can see, <laughs> we're good. We're crystal. Hey, okay. And that, <laughs> my ladies and gentlemen, is how we do it out here. We help each other out, bail each other out. I could have been a, a nuthead and said, nah, I ain't going to Kingman, man. Screw that, man. I ain't going to burn my clock for that. Nah, I'll get somebody else. But no, I'm a team player. <laughs> I help out. I wasn't doing anything, you know, at the yard back there. Just waiting for a local. Now I'm going to take this back. Then tomorrow I'll be running locals. You know, and, uh, and Thursday as well. Yeah, the total combined weight. 36,317. We have, wow, got a lot of beef in that trailer. Uh, barbecue's on me, guys. <laughs> 22 pallets inside. Yeah. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now, remember that thing is still slid. I didn't put it in the hole, put it in the slot. <laughs> What I'm gonna do now, release the tractor brake, go forward. And I'm gonna see if you guys can hear it. I'm gonna leave the door open. Once you guys hear that click, we're secure. Alright, you hear that? That means we're good. I couldn't take off if I wanted to without releasing the uh, the brakes on the trailer. Alright? So I hope. This little tutorial was helpful for you guys. Um, this is Wild Bill, aka the great one, the rock, the chosen one, the people's champ. <laughs> um, Alright, that's how we do it. Uh, thanks for uh, tuning in and thanks for uh, following me, guys. Um, I'll add more comedy into that. Oh, now one other thing. Since I have more than uh, 30,000 pounds, this is what I do. Alright. This knob here is my engine brake, also known as the Jake brake. So I, I always ride with my Jake brake on, no matter what. Right now it's on one, you know. Um, I'm gonna put it all the way to max, you know, which the setting is three. Okay, what the Jake brake does is help me save my brakes. Um, the engine slows the truck down. Uh, it helps me brake. Um, well, it helps all of us brake uh, on a. On the owner operators, you know the guys that own their own truck, the fancy trucks, they get them big pipes. And when you guys hear that, brrr, that's a Jake brake. I mean, that's slowing the truck down. Sometimes on the old classic trucks like that, I like the way that sound, you know. I mean, I love to hear that. Brrr, you know, when I was a kid, I used to always love that, man. Uh, I used to be the kids that be in the backseat of dad's the mom and dad car doing this. And now I get that, and that makes me feel good because it makes me think of uh, when my childhood, you know. Um, when I was a little bitty uh, puppy, you know, and here I am driving, <laughs> and I get to return a favor to the kids, you know, so, um, and on that note, guys, uh, well, I'll just, uh, 
trailer check, trailer inspection is complete. Before I started this video, I went underneath with my phone light. That's why I couldn't uh, start the video then. What I was doing underneath the trailer, I was checking the brakes, you know, on all the axles. I was checking the brakes, the brake pads. Look like they just put them on there. Uh, they're, they're new. They're good. Um, I, was, I, I was also checking the cross members. All right, those are the things that support the weight that's inside the box. I was checking the cross members. You know, none of them have welding repairs and none of that stuff. None of them were cracked. You know, none of them were dented. So this is a good trailer. Um, the reefer will need servicing pretty soon. Um, uh, I think it's like 500 uh, hours uh, over. But you know, that's it happens when you get a preloaded trailer somewhere. They be sitting at the customer for a while. They don't have a chance to get them service until we actually deliver the load, keep that trailer in live load somewhere else, and then finally head inbound, you know, to the yard. And that's when we're like, hey man, it's PM this, you know, needs a PM, you know. And if we're stuck with it, and then we gotta cross, especially in California, you know, you go through uh, Livingston, that way station over there. You got the one at uh, uh, by uh, Magic Mountain. If you got, you got, it's always good to have a, a black marker, um, you know, a felt tip marker or any kind of Sharpie in your truck just in case, because they will check that too, you know, you know, so you just go ahead and modify, you know, a month and a year. If you know your trailer, you know, you picked up that trailer and it's been sitting at that customer for a while and it hasn't had a PM for damn near five or six months, maybe a few years. Go ahead and manipulate that, but also write it down. And um, when you do your pre-trip on your tablet, put, you know, for the trailer inspection, hey, this needs a PM, all right? Because they do see that too. The shop sees all of this stuff. So uh, that's why it's covering yourself that way because you're going to be the one that's going to modify it, you know, falsify it, actually. Yeah, the best thing to do is to put it in the system. Because DOT, they don't know. Only Knight does, you know. So DOT is going to go by what they see there, you know, on that sticker back there. Um yeah, so um, there we have it. Uh, it is now 7 Seven uh, Eleven, <laughs> like the store. Um, I have five hours on my 14, five hours and 39 minutes to be exact. I won't go back uh, right now. I mean, I can, but I don't want to drive at night, you know, because, you know, I want to show you guys the scenery uh, going back through uh, US 93. Uh, that's very scenic going through the mountains and all that stuff uh, crossing over two bridges uh, Going through wiki up, you know uh, All the historic, you know places, you know, I mean I'm gonna show that to you guys in the, the following slideshow from this video here uh, This one I'm gonna upload that right now because it's still today. All right, so you guys are gonna be seeing that right now as I talk to you guys so And on that note ladies and gentlemen, you guys have a wonderful evening I'm gonna um, put all this stuff in the system. Let Michelle know that I am actually here. I did receive it. The trailer is fine. Uh, the weight's good. I just balanced the weight out for the next driver. I wish that was maybe, but unfortunately, I am just taking this back to the yard. Uh, it's already set up for T call. Um, uh, they're gonna reschedule the load anyways because it's due. <laughs> tomorrow which you know that's not gonna happen uh, so they're gonna reschedule this load the load is going to uh, I'm trying to see uh, it's going to Winko over there in Modesto off Crow's Landing Road uh, I know that place very well um, yeah they do take uh, quite a bit to offload you there but everything is there you know you got the truck stop right up the road right there at Ceres you know? I mean it ripping so it's not too far you know and actually it's not all that far away from our Modesto yard, so all that stuff is all in the same area, so, you know, uh, if I wasn't going to, you know, do my uh, physical, I would have, uh, I would have loved to keep this low, um, but, you know, I'll be headed back that way maybe next week, this weekend or whatever, I'll try to do my physical Thursday, instead of waiting until Friday, so. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut her down here. Uh, there's no need for me to try to run right now. I've been, like I said, I've been uh, I've been awake since uh, 5 o'clock this morning, and here it is. It's like almost 8 o'clock. 
Uh, I still, like I said, I got hours on my clock. Uh, that last video, that was from this morning that you guys saw making, you know, you guys laughing uh, when I was working out and all that stuff. I was trying to get my guns back. I'm getting my body back the way it was before I started driving. But, um, yeah, so uh, we're good. Um, I'll leave this drop slip with this load. I'll just change the truck number to mine. Um, <laughs> I mean... I mean, he even put his name as that, too. You know, you guys see that? I'm not going to even say it. You know, what does it say right there? You know? So, I mean, you know, like I said, to each their own, you know? I mean, he's a nice person. I I've saw him before, you know? I saw him, uh, I think, when I was in a... I did a trip to Laredo, and I think I ran a tool him there. Uh, so, he's a nice person, you know? And I, you know... The reason why I ask him if you want me to stick around, you know, because there's a lot of evil people out here that see people like that, you know, and you know, they, they, they like to run their mouth, talk stuff, you know, I mean, disrespect. So that's, that was my part, you know, I, I was going to be his backup just in case, you know, you know, not only that he's a colleague, he's also a human being, but there's a lot of, you know, stupid people out here, you know, there's a lot of truck drivers that are like that, you know. Normally I have the CB on, but I, I don't like to have it on unless there's an accident. You hear a lot of nonsense on that too, so. Yeah, so, we're good. I'm gonna end this thing right now. I'm just gonna do the, the paperwork in the system, put it all up in the system here. Um, uh, I'll show you guys right now. This thing is so slow. All right, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go right here, tap that, all right, even though it says Cactus, Texas, obviously I'm not in Texas where he picked this up at. So I'm gonna go down to right here and let him know that I just picked it up. I'm gonna go ahead and put I arrived at shipper. Technically this for me is the shipper, all right? So entering the miles that I got here, which is one, three, 163, three six four I'm gonna enter that I mean it should be automatic since I'm going you know this is a rescue mission <laughs> so all the other stuff I didn't uh, I'm not gonna put in just yet because I didn't uh, jump. actually I will what the hell I'll show you guys all right how much did I say this load was it was what 36,000 pounds something like that right Y'all listening? <laughs> Having fun with you guys. All right. Yeah, he put it there, so I'm going to just put what he put. All right. I'm going to press right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to go load it, call. All right. Driver load? No, I did not load it. All right. The weight? Three, six, three, one, seven. All right. Pieces? is 484 all right seal the seal number is the hell is uh eight uh what eight one eight one three one zero one one man y'all can't even see what the hell i'm doing either but anyhow, I'm just giving you guys a heads up of what we do here uh, when we're entering stuff in the system. That way, the whole entire network of night knows each and everything about what's on board the truck or where the truck's at. All right. Current trailer number is R5234. Um, and there you have it. And up here, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, damn, they don't even show nothing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and um, send it. Knowing Michelle, she probably already did all that stuff for me, but I'll do it anyways. That way, I'm covered. See, and it's already in there. That's what that message flies. All right. Well, they already have my back. Um, that's cool. See, things like that, you know, the small things like that really matters. Um... Well, I don't know, guys. <laughs> it's, yeah.
I'm talking too much, but I just wanted to show you guys um, how it is uh, from my point of view, for all of our point of view out here, all the truckers, um, what we do, how it is when we're working. Uh, picking up or doing a recovery or uh, a rescue mission like what I did right now. Um, um, I'll walk over there later on and see if everything's good. Um, you know, uh, to see everything good with them, you know, and they're going to head back to Phoenix. Uh, I would go to Phoenix too, but I, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try. Too tired right now. I, I'm starting to get Bill Clinton eyes right now, so that's a sign of uh, sleep. And I'm going to get some sleep. <sighs> um, I'm thinking about going somewhere else to park a little bit closer, but uh, that's what everybody else is doing too. So I might as well just stay here, um, put some TV on or something. I don't know. Uh, I think there might be some parking way up there, but other than that, I sh I'll just stay right here. I, I need to pull forward a little because the ass end of the trailer is. Uh, in the lane behind me. Right. I'll just pull it forward a little. Alright. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's a wrap. Got the TV and it just that so I can watch channels. Most likely I'll be watching Ion. <laughs> oh, all right, man. Orale. All right, he's gone. All right, so that's always a good thing, but uh, hurtful. I mean, he's going to get paid regardless because for him, this is breakdown pay. So he's been sitting. Hell, that clock's been ticking. You know, he's good. You got breakdown pay, so I did my good deed right now. Um, now I am uh, totally responsible for this shit. <laughs> it's off his hands. Um, it's all good though, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm uh, fully responsible for all that meat. That's why I put that padlock on the back to secure the trailer. I just gotta remember to take it off when I get to Phoenix. Because that would be like my third one that I left on the trailer, you know, somewhere. And the other three I left, uh, the other two I left were in, uh, they were in uh, California. So, I mean, I got hella locks in here, you know, so. Yeah, I'm starting to get bags on my eyes, guys. That means I need to lay myself down or kick back. Hopefully get a channel tuned in up there. Um, if not, I'll just watch cable. Uh, cables full of crap. They only show the same stuff over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So, on these, no matter which one, HBO, Showtime, they uh, seem like they rotate. You know, I guess from HBO to Showtime. You know. So, uh, yeah, this has been long, huh? But I just wanted to share all of this stuff with you guys to show you guys we don't. There's more than just uh, driving a truck. Anybody can drive. All right? forward back up turn I mean when you turn it's a little bit different than driving a car you turn you got to make sure you go towards the middle of the intersection and then turn and then while you're turning you're looking in the mirrors over there to make sure that that trailer tire little tires are still on the ground and not on the sidewalk so other than that now we do more stuff see we do more I just showed you guys all that we do I did the tug test when I hooked up to this trailer we're locked in uh, if I had a flashlight I would get underneath there and show you guys what locks it but you know if I get I don't know maybe I, if I try to turn a light on nah, it won't do that because it'll stop no, but uh, tomorrow morning I'll show you guys well tomorrow when I get to Phoenix I will show you guys all right it'll be in the, the slideshow uh, it won't be like like this so, so uh, on that note there ladies and gentlemen I've been saying this shit for like what five minutes already ten minutes we are uh, Locked and loaded, if you will. <laughs> um, obviously, I didn't get a channel up there. Um, I'll do another scan again. Uh, 
probably because it's the location where I'm at. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll definitely be watching TV regardless. So, thanks for hanging out with me. It was my pleasure to show you guys um, what we do when we're hooking up to a trailer. Uh, if uh, my baby bird was here, you guys, I would have her to demonstrate for you guys, show you guys, you know. So, on that note, I'm going to kick back, going to eat, and, uh, take my medicine, and uh, call it a night. Love you all very, very much. Oh, look at that. The shooting star. I uh, like you guys can see it. But anyhow, good night, guys. Love you all. Later.